Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA Sports surprised us yesterday with not one, but two player SBCs, and one of them is making some specific cards on this market crash in price like crazy because it's an SBC that so many people are doing. I want to take a look at that and how that really impacted the market a ton yesterday and how fodder prices are a very, very close watch today because we have a big pack that basically everybody is going to be getting today that gives out a lot of fodder. We'll talk about that and what to expect today on a Tuesday. Will it quiet down a little bit or will it actually ramp up with news of maybe the next promo loading screen sometimes happen on Tuesdays? There's a lot to talk about today. So if you're excited for the video, hit the thumbs up on it and subscribe if you are new. Let's take a look at yesterday's content via SBCs. First of all, we have to talk about the big boy SBC, which I'm using in my foot birthday cup team. Rabio, right? We knew he was coming yesterday and we knew he was going to have a pretty big market impact, but we didn't expect EA to make this SBC such the big dub that it actually was. This is an SBC that's going into so many people's teams. The France links, right? The Juve links. So many great special cards this year have those links and people are just inserting him into their teams and you can tell based on how the market reacted. 150,000 coins or so for this Rabio SBC, 130,000 coins, 91% upvote on Footbin. That's crazy, right? I think this is a really good value SBC. It's a card you're going to be able to use for a while, especially if you're on a lower budget, right? That's what also is such a big W about this. If you have millions of coins and you've got absolutely insane midfielders, like, I mean, does this break into my main team? Probably not, but it is a really good value SBC um, for so many people on this game, and it just has great links. Now, also with this, they released a 99 match loan of Rabio, which this one, a lot of downvotes, I, I mean, I get it. Unless you only plan to use Rabio for less than 99 games and you don't plan to use him in any friendlies that would restrict you from using loans, uh, really, this one's the one to go for, and it's really easy to craft. So this is a big W for EA. Now, of course, as we mentioned, midfielders are crashing in big time. That's the part of the market that is really dying right now. If you take a look at most midfielder prices yesterday, they are down big time. And honestly, guys, I would be worried still about trying to buy any of these other midfielders that have gone down a ton that you maybe want for your team because we're not done yet with big time, very hype midfield SBCs. We have another one coming soon. We'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. Kamavinga from 470,000 coins down to 390K. We looked at that Yaga Torre even like the World Cup Yaya Tori, like this is a 3 million coin card, absolutely better than Rabio. He went from 2.9, almost 3 mil, down to 2.8. He's back up now a little bit, as you would expect. But like, why was this card really getting panic sold yesterday for a Rabio? Kind of crazy. But the whole market was really kind of like stuck in the mud. We'll talk more about that uh, in this video as well. Mike Magnan, uh, sorry, not Mike Magnan, Renato Sanchez. We'll talk about Magnan in a second. Renato Sanchez down a lot, 490K, down to 415,000 coins. Midfielders on this game, if you take a look, 24 hours over, are some of the biggest cards that have dropped in price. This Ganduzi down 24%. Sissoko down 27%. Marquisio down 22%. Uh, Fagioli, right? Another Juventus midfielder down 20% in price. Tons of drops on the midfield cards on this market. But also, the flip side is, you've got a lot of links to that Rabio going up in price. Magnan, right? The card that we just mentioned, 49,000 coins all the way to 65K. Huge rise there. And then some of your other Serie A links are flying as well. Cordoba from 170 up to 196. Some of the cards that I bought last night, I, I mentioned Teo Hernandez, right? Is a really good link. This guy is up about 50,000 coins. I bought three. I actually have five of him now. I bought five at 500K. He is now up to about 550,000 coins. I'm hoping that it can keep going up with more SBCs and with more people doing the Rabio. Now, it wasn't just the Rabio SBC that's got some of those Serie A cards moving in price. It was also Pedro, which actually we were surprised because we got two SBCs yesterday, which is often not the case. Uh, and Pedro with a W dynamic that I've just now seen for the first time. Five star, five star. This kind of almost makes like the Bamba card that we saw on Sunday a little bit kind of like, man, if I've done, if I did Bamba, I'm like, man, I wish I would have just done Pedro instead. 
He's a really, really good looking card. A lot of people remember his item from earlier on in FIFA 22, the first flashback SBC that we had last year. Finesse shot outside the foot. You look at a five star, five star card for a hundred, what is, what is he, 100,000 coins? 113,000 coins with these dribbling stats. This is a really, really good card, guys. I know it's only one squad to do, which makes him even easier. So yesterday was just such a great day for the kind of the cheaper meta market, right? You can get a Pedro and a Rabio for like 220,000 coins straight out of pocket that are super meta cards, super usable, and pretty linkable instead of Serie A teams. I like how EA did that yesterday. That was a G. G. So that was the big SBC content from yesterday. Now, moving on to some of the other stuff that we saw, uh, we'll talk more about the market later, of course, but moving on to some of the other things that we saw, right? We had a daily pack SBC, the foot 22 SBC with a tradable pack. And that mattered yesterday as well, because we had a lot of tradable supply, right? This was a tradable, what was it? A pr uh, prime Electrum players pack, which is a pretty solid pack. Inside of the Rabio SBC, you had tradable packs for each of the two segments that you had there. And we also had an 85 times five, which we're going to be able to do every single day. Now it is a bit expensive. I know you look at the price this, you're like, Nate, turning in an 86 rated squad for an 85 times five upgrade. That's, that's a lot, right? It, it is, it really is. But we do it, right? Because some of these packs are actually really good, specifically with icons for foot birthday and the foot birthday players in packs right now. Man of the matches as well. It's a sneaky good time to open these sorts of packs and the 80 plus times three upgrades. I know that it's not good value. I'm not telling you you have to do this every day, but if you can craft it, um, maybe with the 80 plus times threes, if you have some extra fodder from other, you know, like all the cup modes that we have uh, and the rewards from cup mode and the draft objectives with fodder packs that are giving out right now, fodder is plentiful on the low to mid tier. You pack 187 or 88, you chuck it into the squad with a bunch of uh, 83s, 84s, and a couple 85s and then maybe one other high rated card and boom you've got yourself an 85 times five these are also some of the more fun packs to do in this game right so this is a i mean it's not a w because it is expensive but that there is an sbc that we're all kind of excited for the position modifier is back so ggs if you sold your position modifiers when they were up super crazy high um when the sbc went away for three days they literally went up from like a thousand coins to like almost 3k it was pretty wild also it helped that we had a lot of sbcs and people were using them um, for SBCs and cards of their team at that time. But that is now back, which is a dub, and it's back for a long time. So when this ends, we'll look at maybe the same thing happening later on this summer, of course. Uh, actually, 26 weeks. That's a really long time. That might be out to like the end of the game. But regardless of that, we had an upgrade SBC yesterday. Um, EA duped us. I mean, we thought we were going to get commons as the requirements because once again, EA put the provisions pack in the store, right? So that had people buying non-rares. We even talked about it in yesterday's video. Guys buying non-rares was the move, this, that, and the other, right? Because that's what EA had done before when the provisions pack was in the store, non-rares were required for the uh, repeatable upgrade pack. And then yesterday, EA went and dropped this 80 plus times three, and they required 10 rares, one non-rare. So non-rares are down in price or basically still at their minimum and rares haven't moved. A lot of people are not happy with this SBC, but guys, it's really a W and let me explain it to you why it is a W. If you are doing these upgrade packs in a way that you are buying the gold cards to do them, right? A lot of people last week were buying gold commons to do the A plus player pick. Those common golds, how much were they by the middle to the end of the week? They were like 550 to 600 coins per card. So the SBC was coming in at an 80 plus player pick for about, you know, six to 7,000 coins to do that, that upgrade pack. This is an 80 plus times three, where you basically think of the 80 plus player pick, but you get to take all three cards home. And it's almost the same price because rare golds are still minimum price at 650. It's almost the same price as last week's 80 plus player pick. And you get to take all the cards home. That's why this is a W. I understand some people that are really grinding the menus, like with BPM and stuff. Um, this is not seemingly a W for some of them because it's hard to get uh, some of those non rares, right? There's not a really easy way to get non rares like, or sorry, like rares as you could the non rares. But you know, I just think this is a W because most people just buy the cards to do these anyway. And I'm getting boards almost every single time. I get an 83 right there. That's kind of a mid pack, right? But if I get two 83s in this, boom, two 83s and an 81. Then it feels like it's kind of halfway work it, uh, worth it. I'm getting a lot of 84s. I've seen people packing foot birthday icons out of those. I'm seeing people pack for birthdays and just a lot of high rated fodder. Those 80 plus times threes, 
the, the weight is a bit, you know, kind of like sus sometimes. Like sometimes they're good, sometimes they're absolutely terrible. So if they're bad for you, wait a little bit, maybe, you know, reset FIFA, you know, whatever, like tinfoil hat theory you maybe have about packs. Try some the next day. Those are really good value, in my opinion, for the price because you get three players back instead of one. So that's kind of all of yesterday's content. I know it's a lot, but there was a lot going on on this game yesterday let's talk about the market because the market was also in a weird spot yesterday as well a lot of prices were down and they you know they've kind of stayed down some cards have rebounded back a little bit but the best word we were talking about it on stream yesterday the best word to really describe how the market felt was stuck a lot of prices usually on monday go up right and we saw prices like not do that at all the sbc demand still on this game right now is so massive and there's so many people focused on crafting sbcs and doing a lot of that especially with more sbcs coming out yesterday a lot of market prices kind of stayed the same or even dropped down in price, right? And Mbappe, who I sold at 557, was at one point all the way down to about 500 and like 10,000 coins, even like close to 500 flat around the content yesterday. Now he is back up a little bit, and I do see some cards on this game that have rebounded a bit. There was a lot of panic yesterday, of course, um, with the big SBCs that were released, like Anthony was one of them. Anthony was down to about 700,000 coins. He was even under 700K. He's now back up a little bit. So some cards have rebounded just a slight bit. Um, but again, a lot of the midfielders have not. Those are down big. So just be careful with that side of the market. Um, and speaking of that side of the market as well, we have a couple more leaks for especially one more big midfielder SBC. Just to kind of touch on this again, I don't know when we are going to get this SBC. But I also think it'd be weird if EA dropped a France SBC one day and then dropped another one the next day for the same uh, position, right? Two center mids from France back to back. I don't know. But Taliso is an SBC we're still expecting to come, whether it comes today, whether it's tomorrow, whether it's Thursday, right? This could be another big time SBC that has a lot of impact on the market. Imagine if you did Rabio, maybe you see this Taliso come out with like five star skills and you're like, boom. I could play both of those guys in my team with the France links. I run some Syria, I run some League One, and it would be perfect, right? So I see a lot of demand for this Taliso as well. If he does drop today or tomorrow, midfielders could be in for some more drops in price. Now, I don't know if this is going to be today or if Nico Gonzalez is going to be today, but those are the only two SBCs for daily foot birthday player SBCs that we have leaked at the moment. Now, we do have a brand new leak, and we were expecting another showdown, but we didn't know who it was going to be, and now we do. Rusillian and Thomas Moynier are added to come as showdown SBCs. Both of these actually, fair play to EA. Uh, it's a great time to drop both of these cards for linkability in teams. A lot of um, Bundesliga, and especially Dortmund links with like Hummels and stuff like that, very linkable right now for Moynier as a right back card. It's like we usually get a yearly Moynier special, and here it is. And then Roussillon, a French left back with Bundesliga links as well. Think about guys like Oop Meccano. Think about all the other France uh, links that are out right now. I don't know if this is going to be today or if it's going to be tomorrow, but this showdown for a game that happens on Saturday, maybe EA Sports will do the five-star weak foot again. Maybe it'll be five-star skills. Remember last week, we had Fulham uh, against, or sorry, we had Nottingham Forest versus, uh, I forget who it was now. I don't, I, it was Gibbs White versus, uh, oh, Wolves, uh, Cunha, right? So now we have Brusillian versus Moynier. Maybe they do weak foot again because I think that would both be appreciated about these two cards getting a weak foot upgrade. But in the coming days, watch out for this because that could be uh, an interesting SBC that fits people's teams right now and also gets the upgrade on stats, but also with the foot birthday five star wee foot or skills if they so choose to do a skill move upgrade on those cards. Now, foot birthday cards. Let's talk some about these because a lot of these prices continue to drop off. Uh, we talked about the Anthony a little bit. Maldini, some of the icons really took a hit yesterday. Maldini is down to 3.4 million coins, 335. Big drop for him. Bruno Guimaraes is down, as you would expect, with a big midfielder being dropped. Uh, but then some of them have rebounded back up a little bit too. Desai was all the way under 800,000 coins, and Desai is back to about 840 right now. So some cards, like we mentioned, have rebounded a bit, but a lot of them are still low. Ganduzi, of course, with Rabio, um, is down. He was 600,000 coins. I bought one yesterday at 530 and sold it at 5. Uh, basically 570. So a quick flip there. A lot of fluctuation. This card's very good. I also tried him out with Rabio. But if we get Taliso, it might be a card that drops a bit more uh, in the market today as well. So just be careful on the market right now. 
it does still feel a little bit stuck, but also you see like cards like that Cordoba, cards like this Teo Hernandez, who I have five of again, like cards like this have gone up in price because um, you see people that are buying teams and buying cards to link to the most meta SBCs that we have right now. Just be very careful with your midfielders. And I would be careful on the entire market as a whole because we don't know what's coming today on Tuesday in terms of news for the next promo. Again, we talked about it yesterday just shortly and we talked about it in the stream. Whatever this Trophy Titans kind of like promo is is what people think is going to be next. Um, that's really the leaks and the loading screens and all of that sort of news. Whenever that starts to drop... That's going to really kind of give us a, a detail about what this market's going to do over the next week. I know Team of the Season is still looming, but if we have a kind of a quieter L promo before Team of the Season, even if it's one week long, could season prices go back up and have a great opportunity to sell then uh, before, you know, we have big drops, big crashes uh, with like oh, the week before Team of the Season with voting and all that good stuff. So we're still in the back of our minds. We're probably going to mention that a lot until it comes really close, but that's just kind of something to keep thinking about. And SBC fodder. Today's a really big day for fodder as a part of Tuesday content because if you've been keeping up with the daily login, SBC, today's the end. Today is day 12, and it's still going for a few more days. It's still going to be here. So if you've missed a couple days, you're fine. I think you can miss like three days, uh, and you'll be able to catch back up, either two or three days. But today is day 12, and that means everybody's going to be getting the 85 times two for completing the SBC today and also the full reward of the 85 times five. So basically everybody today on FIFA is getting an 85 plus times seven. And if you're doing the SBC for the 85 five, uh, then you're getting an 85 times 12, basically, in terms of three different packs today, all 85 plus players. And that means good things for the high rated fodder market. Still having Kunku, again, Mbappe, Cruyff. Fodder prices yesterday were really unchanged on the low tier. Some of them are actually even down because, again, like I mentioned, tradable packs from inside of the Rabio SBC and a tradable token pack. These guys did have a bit of a spike yesterday. But now they are back down. I would expect around the same thing to happen today as well because that 85 five times 5 does refresh. But your 87s and above, these cards, 87s specifically and 88s, went up a little bit yesterday because of the 86 rated squad requirement. And I think uh, for, for Rabio and for the 85 5, you can see this right, they went from about 19K up to about 21, 22. These cards could go up a bit higher. So if you have higher rated fodder, list for those lazies and be prepared to get some more profits, right? 91s were really really low in the morning with weekend league rewards being paid out. They were down to 74K, but they're back now to almost 80,000 coins. And I think they are going to go higher today. So I am getting some more lazy listing sales, hopefully on these 90s and 91s. Pretty good time in the next two to three days on this game, specifically today and tomorrow, to probably get out on some of your 89s, 90s, and 91s that are just very, very inflated in price. I know those SBCs like in Cuckoo and Conte and stuff aren't going away for a while, but I still think it's a pretty good time to take the cash because this is really, I think, going to be peak demand with the foot birthday objectives kind of ending and a lot of the fodder packs from swaps, right? People are claiming those. And they're getting those opened and they're crafting the SBCs that they want to craft. Demand for SBCs slowly drops over time, right? You know, less and less people are, are completing in Kunku the longer that he is out, um, especially like the, after the first couple of days, right? So for these cards, I'm listing for lazies. I've even gotten some lazy sales of like 85, 84,000 coins, which is kind of their peak from where they were at before. You can see here, messy, right? 85k 84k for some of these still getting lazy in some my 87s some my 88s right these are actually up at 30k now that's their legit price so fodder today on the high tier probably going to go a bit higher great opportunity to sell today and tomorrow and again for the rest of the market it just kind of depends on how the content drops if it's a slow day today um, you could see some prices go up a little bit uh, because there's still a lot of people that are uh, finishing the draft and the foot birthday cup myself included and that takes gameplay demand away from like weekly qualies but like ea did the past two weeks they gave everybody foot champs qualification points if they do that again you will probably see some of the better market rise today. So if there are low prices today at the content drop, if there's any sort of panic and uh, there's meta cards out there that are probably not center mids that you see have potential to go up in price, look out for those because today, if they do that, I'm not saying they're going to do it again because they might have only just did it during foot birthday when the football objective was active. And of course, that objective is now gone. So EA might not give out the champs qualification points today. But if they do then I think you could see some market movements pretty positive uh, in some areas today on this game as 
well. That's just kind of something to watch out for, to think about there. Um, I'm staying away from most center midfielders, even though it's tempting to trade with a guy like Renato Sanchez, especially with Tolisso. I'm going to be careful. Now, the cards I would tell you to look at, too, are keep an eye on live cards. Keep a close eye on live cards. Some of them got really low yesterday. They're up a little bit. Speaking of this Ruben Diaz, he was 860 yesterday. Right now, he's back up to 900,000 coins, getting an upgrade tomorrow on Wednesday. And, um, I mean, we even have some games today, I believe, in the Premier League today on Tuesday. Uh, sorry, no, that's, yeah, we do. We have Bournemouth and Brighton. We've got, of course, Chelsea, Liverpool. So watch out for guys like Jota. I don't exactly know how that would work. If, uh, like, if Liverpool would win today and Jota were to score, he would get a plus two because he already has one assist. Um, so just kind of watch out for that. But guys like Upamecano, who are due a plus one as well tomorrow on Wednesday, that's the upgrade day, right, tomorrow. So if any of these guys dip down low today, watch those for potential rises before we get to the upgrades tomorrow on Wednesday for those deservingly upgraded fantasy foot cards. So a lot to talk about, a lot to discuss, a lot going on in this game, but pretty grindable upgrade packs. And honestly, W content from EA yesterday. I think a lot of people did Rabio. You can see the market impact. So many people did him and Pedro as well. Nice SBCs. If they don't fit you, then at least there's a nice upgrade pack out and 85 times five and still a lot to grind in objectives at this moment on this game. There's a lot to do on FIFA at the moment, guys. So we'll look forward to maybe some more news today if we get anything about a loading screen, next promo, leak, stuff like that. But that might be a little bit later on in the week still because EA probably wants to keep the focus on Flip Birthday for now. So we'll be on the stream today talking about all that. But if you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. See you guys in the stream today. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and catch you guys there. Peace out.